Today I'm going to show you measuring, bending, and fitting a main hoop on this 68 charger. So I started off figuring out which bend would look best to fit the angle of the car and I came up with 24 degrees. So we have this nifty tool that has all of the degrees marked out. From there, figure out what looks best um, with that angle sitting in the car, um, kind of deciding that the bend should be below the window opening. So on here, there's a zero mark. So you roughly hold it. I just put a piece of tape um, just to kind of give it a generic reference point. Um, so from there, you're able to measure from the frame up to the reference point. Again, I labeled it so I don't forget for later. Um, and then the second point, again, this tool where it ends is going to be the end of your bend. So you'll, you're able to take this to get to your next bend, which will be up here. Again, labeled it. And then for this bend, I'm still working on it. Again, kind of figuring out what looks the best. Uh, the customer wants to keep the factory headliner in, which is roughly a half inch thick. So I'm keeping a half inch spacing between the areas where the headliner will be. All right, so we got our second start of the bend mark right here. Again, off the zero of this fancy tool. Um, so again, I'm holding it about a half inch away from all the sheet metal, kind of making sure that this is parallel. Um, and right here is the end of that bend. So I will mark that. Um, I will go through and double check all these before I start bending any tubing. But from here, since the car is identical on both sides, I can go through and just transfer all the marks to the opposite side of the car, go through, measure everything, and start cutting. Okay, so we have the driver side now marked out for each of the bends. Uh, going back to the trusty tool. Marking where that bend will be. And then to get the top measurement is simply just measuring from mark to mark, which on this car is 35 and a half. Okay, so we cut the tube to the length for the main hoop. We have this again to double check that our bends will be correct. Um, so our first bend is at 24 degrees. Simply set the machine to 24. And then we can double check. So right about there. And then we will continue to mark and bend for each notch and then test fit. All right, so we've got three of the four bends done. This will be the final bend and then we'll test fit it into the car. So we got the main hoop, we're test fitting it in. Um, I always make it a little long so we can cut and adjust it so then we can get the perfect fitment around um, the roof and the C pillars. Um, as you can see now it's kind of wedged in there. It's still leaned back uh, quite a bit too far. You want it roughly around five degrees leaned backwards. So we will have to trim a little off uh, to drop it down and to lean it forward. All right, so after 
cutting about an inch off. Uh, we were able to slide the main hoop right in. It's got the perfect amount of gaps, so the headliner will still fit. Um, now to get it set to the angle, kind of clean up all of the bends for all the attaching tubes for the rest of the roll cage and keep going from there. Okay, and that's just a quick simple video on how to bend up a main hoop for a roll cage. If you have any more cage needs, make sure to contact Dussault Designs. Welcome to Malibu. <laughs> We're rolling. Okay. <laughs> 69. <laughs> so we've reversed the marks. Um, 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 uh, um, 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 um,